Last week at Butler, the Toreros opened with two touchdown drives, which set the tone for their dominating 44-10 victory over the Bulldogs. Keeping Butler scoreless in the first half is what led to their second conference win of the season. This weekend, they'll come back to San Diego for homecoming weekend and take on the Davidson Wildcats, hoping to win their 25th straight home PFL victory. Great win on the road, Coach. Uh, coming back for another PFL game, what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm hoping that our players will focus and concentrate again during the week, just like they did for Butler. Uh, we had an unusual week last week, and uh, they've really paid attention, and it all showed up in the game, and we hope that we can get them to do the same for Davidson. So you're going for your 25th home straight PFL win this week. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, well, it's a homecoming game, so it's a big game for us, big game for our families. Uh, but for us, I mean, the goal is to win eight. And uh, to win eight, you got to win three. So that's the biggest goal for us is one game at a time and get this one. Is your family coming for homecoming? My family comes every game. They're from uh, Napa, California, but they still make the drive uh, eight hours. But there's some, there's some road warriors for sure. <laughs> well, Miles is a very quiet, hardworking, tough guy. Uh, the kind that makes uh, coaching really easy. Uh, we had a guy named Pono Kenny that started here four years, and he was the same way. And so we've been very fortunate in uh, having Miles here, and, and he's the kind of guy that could he could play center, he could play guard, he can play tackle. He's just really, really good. And I don't know if I've ever heard him speak. And I like to say he's he's quiet, but he's tough. Uh, what's the offensive line working on this week for Davidson? Uh, we always got a block moving better. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of movement this year because we're a young offensive line. So every week is just getting better, coming together as a unit. Uh, we got a lot of good guys up there, best friends, five of us. Uh, so we're, we're going to come together. We'll do it well. Good. Um, and you guys are first in the PFL right now with only allowing one sack this season. Mm -hmm. um, what have you guys been doing to uh, keep Lawrence safe in the pocket? Uh, well, Lawrence is our boy. He's our friend. So first of all, we've got to look out for our boy. But uh, communication is key. As long as we're still all on the same page, we got some good players. If we're on the same page, then we'll get it done and we shouldn't allow any sacks. Any idea what kind of competition Davidson will be? I think Davidson will be a very tough game. They have played us tough every year when I've been here. We were down there last year, and they gave us a big run for our money. I mean, they were tough as heck. And uh, watching them, I think they're getting better every week, and uh, we hope that uh, it won't be our week when they get really good.